Is it permissible to trim the beard due to job requirements? Um, okay, so the permissibility of trimming the beard would come down to um, the hukum of the beard. And this is something that the, the madhahib, uh, uh, the four madhahib differ on. Um, amongst the Indo, uh, amongst the Hanafis, there's a position of the indo Paks which is that it's wajib to have a fist length. Others, and this is what you'll find in, in many of the uh, the books, was sunnah to qabda. A sunnah is a fist length, and people have argued it whichever way. Um, so, uh, according to those who hold it to be wajib, um, they're going to be restricted on this position. They would say no. Uh, the other madhahib, I know that in, in the Shafi'i school, um, Trimming the beard is akin to some close to what we have in Makrut and Zihan. So it's, uh, it is permissible. Um, look at the job and look at the whole situation. Um, I, I personally feel that um, emulating the, the, the Sunnah of the Prophet uh, is something that is you know, tremendous. And it brings a lot of barakah. I mean, it, 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 the length of a person's beard um, is one aspect. You know, there are other aspects like, you know, how is a person's relationship with God? You know, uh, how, how casually does he commit sins? Or do, how effective is his ability to avoid sins? How are his akhlaq? You know, how is, is he going around yelling at you know his parents or the people closest to him, or is he not? Is he is he being good to those around him? All these factor into what makes you know a believer that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala wants us to be. Um, someone following the, the the Sunnah of the Prophet. So this aspect of the Sunnah uh, of the beard, I think, it is quite important to have. You know. Uh, um, uh, have a beard, uh, you know, that, that's close to the, you know, to the length of the Prophet's beard, a fistful. Um, sometimes people, uh, uh, for job requirements, you know, if, you know, for, they, they put a net around it, whatever, if they have a long beard, if they're dealing with food, that's great, no problem. And they're not having to trim it. So sometimes you have to ask, you know, what kind of environment am I going, going into when it comes to work? Uh, is it a place where I can be a believer, where I can be myself, or is it not? And if it's not, before you go in, ask yourself, am I going to have to compromise on anything else of my deen? Well, we want you to skip, you don't, don't pray your prayers here, pray them at home in your own time, or these sorts of things. You know, there is such a thing as religious discrimination, you know, and all these... <coughs> all these standards that they throw out now, equality and all that, and say, say you know, we're also part of that <laughs> equality equation. So, um, uh, if someone had to, and there's an absolute need, you know, there is there are the positions of the other madahib, and even the the position of the Hanafi school. But uh, ideally, look look at what's good for your deen first. Or look at what's good for your relationship with Allah. And as I said, you know, so there are some of the ulama, and it's not a small number either, who said it's wajib, so, you know, trimming it would be an issue. Um, so Allah knows best. Allah knows best. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah